Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Jane's Fighters Anthology as we, well, as we start the uh, Russian single missions. So let's go and see what they got here. There we go, Vladivostok. Missions AV01 Extra O2 Tank Busted. Tank Busted. Nikolaevka Air Base date March 11th, local time 0630 hours. Weather cloudy. Mission objective destroy a hostile Chinese tank company that has penetrated our defensive line. Threat suppression data ground opposition SA 6s, shoulder launch SAM ZSU 57s, air opposition possible J 7s. Well, this is interesting. We get to play as a frog foot, so that'll be a nice change of pace. Looks like, um,. We have a defensive line north of Timpur and south of Nikolaevka. In the center of that, to the east of Petrovka, is what's been um, what's been hit or what's been being broken through. So let's patch that up. Um, we'll take carries. We like carries. And um, I do want some backup though. So we'll take some of these RBK cluster bombs. And then um, for air to air, we'll take archers and then an 80% fuel load so that way we can uh, be a bit lighter on our feet, so to speak, uh, when those J7s come in looking for us. So, that, let's get started. Oh, hello there, fuel truck. I would like to take off, please. Thank you. So, if you get one wingman, I think that's what I've said, anyways. Very short takeoff distance. It looks like we're drifting a bit. That uh, that's probably the wind. I think the wind is always so inbound. Take one Bravo. Bearing one eight three. Climb to Angel three. We'll go mission silent for now. I don't know if it'll make a huge difference for us, but we'll try. Uh, we'll range out our RWR though in the meantime. It looks like there is defensive emplacements ahead, so we're going to try to step around them a bit. Yeah, then go through friendly territory. Look at all that popping. And that must be our objective, since they're shooting at us. <laughs> Alright, we will hit the deck. Wow, that was a stubborn missile. I don't know if the game, uh... A couple of them. I don't know if the game actually um, modifies the chance of success of different uh, chap or not, though. It'd be interesting if it did. I know Simano does. Pop up for the attack. And uh, we're basically the Russian A10, for those who don't know. I think I did a uh, showcase on this a while back in the. Uh, in the Ukraine campaign. So we should have some fairly hefty armor. We're not invincible, but we should be able to take a few hits. Okay, they're focused on my wingman now. Let's make sure. Alright, so this carry actually has uh, some pretty good. Um, oh shit, that was my cluster bomb going off. There we go. That should like you know, us and the other guys a little bit. I don't think we took anything too hard, but yeah, that's what I'm talking about with the heavy armor there. Uh, let's have our women generally attack tanks now. Looks like the AAA is not happy to see us. And we got the J7 inbound. And of course he goes for the long ones. But we would expect no less of our Valiant Wingman. 
kind of want to crank this if at all possible. There we go. Let's try not to take the tank shells since we know these guys are freaking battlefield gamers. They probably can uh, hit a jet aircraft with a tank shell. Indicator until the last second. Good thing. Uh, good thing it sucks so much. I didn't even need. Uh, didn't even need it. Even the soldiers are trying to shoot at us. Look at this travesty. So we should have one more tank. I'm going to try to sink our wingman on it because he had releases munitions at a lot slower rate than I do. So. Uh, he should still have munitions to deal with it from a distance without getting killed. At the very least, he can distract it and then we can go for a gun. If he doesn't get him, we can. But uh, that's not <laughs> the second one before him now. Oh, he's taking a little triple A, but it looks like he's dealing with it. They should have got really good hits. See, it looks like he used a cluster bomb there. And I uh, took like, a couple of the air defenses with that case. Now we're just going to get the hell out of here. Because, quite frankly, we have no reason to stick around. 
And it looks like our wingman is similarly um, mostly out of damage. He's got about a quarter damage. Not too bad considering the uh, close air support mission we just ran. That? No, that's ours. It's gotta be ours, right? Yeah. I think there might be hostiles further, uh, yeah, further behind us. Looks like we're taking off from Tronka. I do not plan on being here when they can ah! Oh, for fuck's sake. So, apparently there was a hill there that I didn't see, which is why I hate going through fog, but I mean, all we had left was landing anyways, so... Alright, so they counted as a mission success, and that that's one of the things I hate about this game, is I think the, um... The altimeter is calibrated to above sea level, rather than above ground level. And I think we saw that a bit during, uh, the actual Vladivostok campaign proper. But, uh, we got the success flag, so that's... Like I said, that's good enough for me for these single missions, at least. If Now, if we were fighting for our lives from enemy aircraft and weren't, like, safe yet, I'd redo it, but I think we're pretty safe. I didn't see anything on the scope that would lead me to think there'd be a problem. Uh, in any case, debrief. Nikolaevka Air Base, date March 11th, mission tank busting. Resolution success. You removed that tank company from the equation. Good work. We destroyed the six targets. We ran into a mountain. Our wingman probably would have too if he had kept if the game kept running. So, oh, it looks like our wingman took out one of the J7s that bounced us. Uh, I imagine that flanker took out the other. Uh, we both have two Sams. Uh, I have four tanks. He has five. We have a vehicle because I think we took out the long track radar if I remember correctly. And then we have another, which is probably a soldier or something. Uh, all of our air to ground launches technically hit. Likewise, we have a 50% gun hit. He has 75%, with more damage too, so good on him. Uh, bomb hits both 100%. Uh, we had seven SAM launches on us, most failed. We jammed one, spooked the rest. Uh, looks like they did get one hit on our wingman, and the rest failed. I'm guessing because of his low damage, so it was just a man pad, which is what the armor is ideally designed to defend against. He also took some uh, gun hits from a fighter, so he was actually dogfighting there. Um, we took a very minor amount of AAA damage. He took a little bit more than us. And uh, that's it for today's mission. So with that, um, thank you all for watching and stay tuned for next time as we continue the Vladivostok single missions, and we'll see you then.